Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this big realistic flower earrings only out of seed beads and I'm showing really easy and step by step so I'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself. If you have any questions, you could always ask me anything in the comments. Down there in description, you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks, where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. And it's a good idea to subscribe. In this way, you will be inspired often, usually twice a week. And if you want, you could send your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials on my, my Facebook and Instagram pages, also posted below. Don't forget to like, share and comment. You help me so much only with this action. And now, guys, we'll start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are three colors of 11 oz seed beads or you could use 10 oz seed beads if you want. These are earring finding in black color, you could use silver color if you want. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters and you could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle, you could also use size 12 if you want. These are scissors. And these are pliers. The pliers are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult bits. Okay, and now I'm going to take about 4 feet of thread on my needle, which is about 1.2 meters and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I'm back and what I'm going to pick up first are 12 of these beautiful seed beads. Okay. And here, guys, I have my 12 on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I'm going to make one more knot and pull again. Okay, so now this is what I have and I will go through some beads in this direction. Okay guys, now I have this beautiful circle and what I'm going to do in my next step is pick up five of these beautiful blue beads. Okay, I have my five here. And as I'm exiting from this black bead, I'm skipping the one that's on my way and I'm going through the following. And then I pull. Then I'm going to pick up five more blue beads. Okay, five. Skip the one that's on my way and I go through the following. Okay, five again. Skip the one that's on my way and go through the following. Okay, guys, and I'm going to do this three more times. Okay guys, and now I have this cute little element and I'm going to continue by going around through all of those blue beads here. Okay, and I want to exit one bead away from the black beads in the center or between those two side blue beads. Okay, you see where my thread is and I'm going to pick up just one black bead and I'm going in the same place here between those two side blue beads, you see, and I'm pulling. In my next step again, I go in the same place, one blue bead away from the black center, take one black 
and go here in the following blue again go here in the same place between those two side blue beads take one and go in the next okay and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row which means three more times okay guys and now i'm exiting one bead away from this bead that's sticking out the most and here what i need to take are five more blue beads okay i have my five again here and i'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and i go through the following three beads you see what i do and then i will take five more beads skip the one that's on the top here and go through the following three it's just to save time if you're not comfortable for you just go through one and then through two more okay and five again okay guys and i will continue these three more times of camera and i'll be back if you forgot how i'm doing it just rewind the video and see this part and repeat it from here okay see you in a while okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last five beads from this row and now i'm exiting here uh, through this blue bead that is next to the black and then i'm going to go through those blue beads and through the following two and now you see i'm exiting between these and these blue beads here this is the one that's sticking out the most and i'm exiting out of the following and i need to take a blue a black and a blue this is what i have and i'm going here in the next blue bead just like this okay now as i'm here guys one bead away from the one that's sticking out the most what i need to do is pick up five more blue beads okay five and i go here through the one that's just next to the stick the one that's sticking out the most okay so i'm skipping the one that's sticking out the most and i go through the following a blue a black and a blue go here and again guys i need five blue beads okay five blue skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the following and again i take the same thing a blue a black and a blue and i go here just under the one that's sticking out the most and again i take five and i go here then again a blue a black and a blue and i go in the same place okay guys and i'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when i'm ready i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last five beads from this row okay so this row is ready and what i do next is that i go here through this black bead and now i will switch to my next color which is pink and i'm taking three pink beads and i'm going here one bead away from this angle from this top here then i take five pink beads okay five and i skip this top bead here 
and I go through the following like I did in my previous steps and then I need three and I go here in the black one okay again three pink beads go here five pink beads go here and three pink beads and go here in this black one okay i'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row first i take three then i take five And I take three again and go through the black one here. Okay, and I will continue this if you forgot how I'm doing it. Rewind and repeat from here and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three pink beads from this row. Okay just like this and don't worry that your work bends and moves will fix it in the next steps okay so now you see where i want to exit from the second pink bead and i'm going to pick up three pink beads again and i'm going here through the second pink counting from here or one bead away from the top bead and then again i need five Okay, five, skip the top and go here. Okay, so this is what I have. And I'm taking three. And I go here in the second one. Okay. Then I take one black. And I go here in the second pink, counting from the black one. You see where I go. I add just one pink here, uh, one black here, sorry. And what I need to take are three pink beads, three. And go here one bead away from the top. Five beads. skip the top and go through the following three pink beads and go here through the second pink through the middle of those three that i added okay and i take one black bead and go here in this middle pink again okay then i need three and i go here one bit away from the top and i need five and i skip the top and go through the following and i need three and i go here through the middle pink and i need one and i also go through the middle pink here okay guys and i will continue these three more times and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and now i'm here at my last step of this row and i'm going in the same place through the middle pink bead and what i want to do next is go through the following two pink beads and i'm going to pick up three pinks 
I go here just one bit under the top and I take three pink beads skip the top and go through the following and again three and this is what I have now and now I will go to my next petal and I want to exit here at the same place you see where I'm exiting and I'm taking three pink beads and here I go one bead away from the top three beads one bead after the top and again three beads and here in the middle one okay I will show you one more petal and let you do this by yourself until the end of this row okay in order to go in my next petal I'm going through all of those beads here and I'm exiting here from this place you see and I need three in this row I add only three beads and I go here one bead away from the top three skip the top and three again okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row if you forgot how I'm doing it just rewind the video and see how I do this part and I'll be back okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row and what I want to do next is reach here the top of this petal where I'm going to attach my earring finding okay and I'm here at the top and I just want to show you how this earring pops up from one side and looks like a real flower and it's so beautiful okay so now what I want to do is take my earring finding and I'm taking one seed bead my earring finding and one more seed bead okay this is what I have on my needle and as I'm exiting through this pink bead what I do is that I go back here through this bead and I want to reinforce this joint here Okay guys and after reinforcing I want to go here and make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going once and then going second time through this loop I've made and I pull and then I go through the following seed bead and by the way you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and now my flower earring is ready 
okay guys and now my amazing large flower seed beads earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will be inspired often usually twice a week you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorial mainly on Instagram and Facebook. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.